I think our Uber driver took us the wrong way. Morning all. Uh, new day, new park. Ish. Oh, I didn't actually look up when um, the last time we were here was. It's going to be at least happened. is three or four years since we have Hang on. been. Hang on. Yeah, to this particular park and when you find out which park you'll know exactly why we haven't been and why we've come yeah. Hang on. man looks up thing on the internet ding, dong, ding, dong, ding. there we go <laughs> four years we haven't been here in four years four years four years anyway we have come well, we must have come here when Lightfish had come out. Because we didn't buy anything. Because. I reckon it's been three, personally. No, because I remember the really bad puns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, three years. We haven't been yeah, so three, three years. years. Uh, oh, Journey to Atlantis is closed. What a shame. Oh, is it? Apparently, yeah. Uh, we'll be getting wet today. So yeah, we just arrived at SeaWorld and we're now going to find out about a disability pass for James. So, get services. Oh. And then, and then roller coasters. Sergeant Jasmine Masters, but I got something to say. <laughs> that was fucking shit. <laughs> They've ruined a perfectly, perfectly good roller coaster for a cheap gimmick. Um, uh, that was wank. Yeah. Like, <laughs> unbelievably so. Yeah, the. Uh, One, it took us six minutes to actually board and then leave. <laughs> Which is too long. Which is way too long. How on earth do you expect to get people through a ride when it takes longer to sit people in the car than it They're does to, to get around the ride? ride. But yeah, it took us six minutes from boarding to leaving. Uh, it was a good. The th VR was crap. The VR wasn't. Yeah, it was like it was like on the on the the lower end of VR. Yeah. And that's nice. um, but, and because of it, you. It, it just felt like a motion simulator. It was like a. It was awful. It no, felt I like a cheap motion it. simulator instead of a really um, good roller coaster. Also, the biggest thing at SeaWorld is you have to pay for your lockers. Yeah. Even while you're riding. So, yeah, don't bring your bags in this ride. Use the locker. That'll be a dollar for an hour, please. No, no, not just bags. You're not allowed anything. <laughs> Even glasses. Yeah. They said that you had to. I was like, but how can we actually see to get up to it? No. No. No, no, just all of it. I mean, front of the, like, we were literally front of the queue. Yeah. We were next car out, and it took us 20 minutes to half an hour, the whole thing. But at least three or four of which was sitting there at the end, waiting for the guy to clean the VR goggles so we could get out the damn car. Who have no training on how to, so, oh, how was that? Was that excellent? No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to It was better you. before, and he was like, oh, this is awkward. I was like, it's not awkward, it's just the truth. <laughs> and I think we're just going to do Mako. Yeah. And get the flock out of here. I mean, we're not going to go see the turtles. The turtles, no. I, I hate that sleep. fucking ride. Do Richard, you're probably going to have to put your bag in a locker. To stand in a room. <laughs> get charged $4 for the privilege. Yeah. Anyway, we knew today was going to be a short day because we've also built in shopping and eating and <laughs> then horror nights, sitting around yeah. doing nothing for about eight hours and then... <sighs> but I'll be honest with you, 
I would never recommend anybody to come here ever again. Honestly, if it wasn't for Aquatica, we would not have got SeaWorld tickets. But the thing is, though, buying a SeaWorld ticket is not worth... Wait, well, Aquatica is not worth buying the whole SeaWorld. It's not. Yeah. For Rowers Rapids. <sighs> but anyway, on we go. And we're moving on. Okay, so we've just been on the Mako, and uh, which is that. <laughs> uh, it was good. Yeah, it was actually a good ride. Was it worth the extra dollar we gave them for the locker? <laughs> nah. Hmm. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> if it was two dollars, I could buy a black market killer whale. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was just saying to Richard, well, what really gets me, sorry, I'm taking my strap off because we're not going on anything else. Um, what really gets me, what really grinds my gears is, okay, so I was given the accessibility pass for here. And we got to Mako and the guy was just like, Oh no, don't, don't use that, it's, like, it's, it's a walk-on. But yeah, he took the quick queue pass from the people behind us, so they're selling us the quick queue. Yet they know for a fact, full and well, that there is no queues for anything. Again, reaffirming the fact, they are penny-pinching bastards. I don't care, they can listen to me all they like. <laughs> they're not going to listen to us, let's face it. They're not going to listen to anyone. Well, you know what? It's not a lie. No. I think any company that sells a like a fast fast queue system like actually sells it when they know full well that there's no reason to sell it. Uh, yeah. And not good people. No. Oh well, whatever. Anyway. We're leaving. <laughs> we have been here. An hour? We got in. Yeah, we've been over about an hour. Maybe about an hour and seven minutes. Yeah, if they ever remake Jaws 3 here again, um, I'm rooting for the shark. I guess I will actually know, because uh, they charge the shark to get in. <laughs> 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 then they say they have to use the shark only entrance, <laughs> <laughs> which costs $4 to use. <laughs>